So I'm going to go into uh, staging mode. I'm going to set it for target. So the target should be... Uh, where's the target? Okay, it's right there. So what I want to do is basically... I'm in target mode. So this has my velocity relative to the station, or relative to my target. I want to kill that off as soon as possible. So let me go here. And because my orbits were not that aligned, I have a lot of relative velocity. And you can see that it's behind me now. And I'm going to start to burn this. And then you'll see my velocity relative to the station will start to decrease. In fact, I'm going to burn. we got a lot of Delta V to kill. So I want this basically to go to zero. So this is step, I don't know, three or four. All right, let's go chase that. There you go. Chase it again. So the more precise you can be here, the better off you'll be. So we have less than... meter. I'm not going to chase it now. All right, now we're heading towards the station. I do believe. So where's the station at? No, we are not heading towards the station. All right, let's do that. Reorient. Let's get a couple meters of velocity getting towards the station. Let's turn our SAS off so I can actually maneuver. So let's go up to 10. And I want this to be pointed right at the station, and that's good enough. All right, so let's look at where we're going. So there it is. So it's a, I, we actually went past it. So it's about four kilometers, and we are closing on it. a bit more speed and let's do it off a little bit I want to drag this ball down to in the middle of the station all right so now we're closing at 16 meters a second and there is there it is right there for some reason I always end up docking on the dark side of the planet which is why I put a lot of lights on things. And we're just going to watch the distance tick down. And I'm going to make corrections not to necessarily increase my speed, but to keep the direction we're going on centered on the station so that we don't miss it. I may need to, when we get close, kill velocity again and reorient to the station. Seems like it's going up a little high, so we'll go low. And you can see on the dark side of the planet, it really is pretty darn dark. Uh, uh, uh. So two kilometers, not too shabby some technical difficulties. And I haven't really touched my RCS at all, which is good. Let's get a little more downward thrust. And actually, I think we can start... Let's go into docking mode. And let's kill off some of our velocity. Turn our RCS on, and you can see the jets firing. So we're going to kill off our velocity now since we're getting close. Just over a kilometer. And we're going way too fast to be this close. But that's okay. So my goal is to slow down. I was going a little bit faster than I wanted to just to stay on target with the station. We don't want to hit it, obviously. So down to 10 meters. 
And I have plenty of mono propellant to burn, as you can see. Alright. Let's slow down to... Alright, so... I need to bring this back in line with... Slow this down again. For some reason, we're picking up speed. Relative to the station, that is. I may have to go back to the main engine to clean things up a little bit, but let's see. Still slowing down. You can see the station now. You can actually see the lights, which is cool. It looks like we're going to go past it, so I'm kind of jetting. We're kind of rotating, so let's go back to staging mode. Let us reorient ourselves. Actually, you know what? Let us kill our velocity using the main engine. Just a little puff. Just a little puff. Three, two, one. Good enough. And let us reorient ourselves to the station itself. back in docking mode. And docking mode basically turns off your main engine. And actually, let's go back in staging mode. Give ourselves a little puff here. Alright, so now we're basically headed in the direction we want. And you can see that using my maneuvering thrusters, let's turn SAS back on, I can put my direction of travel into where the station is. Sometimes easier said than done. Let's do a little braking. It's a good thing we have plenty of monitor propellant, right? Right. There we go. And let's brake. Break. So we're less than a hundred meters away. Okay. And let us reorient ourselves to the station. Alright, back to docking mode. Right, we're drifting away from it, so we don't want to do that. So I'm kind of circling around it inadvertently. It's not really what I want to do. Let's reorient towards the station. Turn off my SAS. Thank you. We just kind of went by it, but better than that than hitting it. So, all right. So, let's bleed off some more of this extra velocity. Get us going in the right direction. Let's go back to main engine, and where's our velocity relative to the station? It should be like up here. Yeah, so we're going this way. Let's do a little puff. And actually, the last couple dockings I've done uh, have been much easier because my orbit has been much more in line. With my target. Two. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get this bad boy going. Switch back to docking. 
Switch back to docking. Uh, I need to I need to point at the station. That would help. All right. Let's bring this guy back over. And you can see the velocities are so little now that. All right. I think we got it. So we are closing with our target, and lined up with the target, closing with it a little less than a meter. And I'm okay with that. And I can use my maneuvering jets to maneuver, go figure. And the target I want, I think you can see my mouse pointer, is going to be right over there, across from this ship, is where I want to dock this. Just closing it just over a meter. So, this is pretty much where I wanted to be on my approach. Although it took, a, took basically a couple loops around the station to bleed off all the extraneous uh, velocity vectors or whatever you want to call it. So, 50 some. Let's break a little bit. You don't want to be going too fast. Half a meter. Course correct a little bit. Plenty. I'll keep saying plenty until I run out of resources. And there you can see now the station's illuminated in our lights. I can show that. See, so turn that off. Turn it back on. So that's that's our lights. So I'm actually going to go off course of the station because I want to actually go up here on this docking port right there. So like this. So it's trying to have me intersect it right there, but I want to go up here. And you can see, just to, just as comparison, both the station and I are going over two kilometers a second uh, absolute velocity. And relative to each other, we're doing half of a meter a second. So that's why it's so hard to kind of get your velocity synced up. I'm going to go up a little higher. Is that higher? This is, what I, this is the direction I want. Higher. When you get certain close, certain uh, so close, you just kind of have to eyeball it. The nav ball actually becomes less useful than than just kind of dead reckoning based upon the way the jets are going. So we're going to put ourselves right up here without plowing into anything. And then I'm going to reorient the ship for docking. But just keep in mind the velocities. You know, we're going so fast here. Let me, I'm going to puff backwards a little bit. That's forwards, not backwards. We're going to puff backwards a little bit. And what do I need to do? I need to go down. No, it's not down. This is down. So I basically want to kill off my velocity now. There we go. Think that's good? It's as good as it's going to get. Go back into staging mode. Turn off my SAS. And I'm going to orient the ship. Just turn on the SAS. Orient the ship for docking. That's actually not too shabby. That actually might work, at least until we get closer. Go back to docking mode. So let's do a little puff, couple puffs forward. Let's see which is the right way to go. This is the right way to go. No? Why am I going up? Let's go back to staging. So I don't really want to point at it here. I want to come in sideways. So let's go back docking. You kind of have to eyeball the jets to figure out which way, which ones the which ones blow the direction you want to go. And that's it, this one right here, all without trying to hit the station. Let's back off a little bit. Now, 
I'm going down. I want to go up. Turn SAS off. Up, back up, back up. So you have to kind of keep checking your perspective. All right, that's fine. So you see I'm drooping a little bit, but that's okay. Now I want to go up. This is actually up. back, not forward, up. So I'm going to line it up and then I'm going to change my perspective and line it up the other way. And then in theory, we should be good. I think I'll need to close that solar panel. So back down. Let me jump quick. So this is the perspective from the station view. I'm going to close this panel. That should be the only one that might get in the way. And go back. You can see it folding up. Kind of neat, huh? All right, now we want to go over. That's not over. This is over. All right, over, over. Make sure we're not puffed backwards a little bit. Sometimes a struggle to get a good perspective. So over. off a little bit. I don't want to get too close until I'm ready. Let's go back to target. Where's my oh, I don't have a target set. Set this target. When I change ships, I lost my target. And I'm so close it won't set. All right, now we want to go down. For some reason, we're too up too high. So down. go. Down a little bit more. I think so. Let's puff in a little closer. All right. So you can see the docking ports illuminated by our lights, which is what we want. Still want to go down. Let's close in just a little bit. That's why I try and keep the uh, directional maneuvering to one axis at a time to keep the insanity level low. But sometimes it still gets a little hard. All right, how are we lined up here? We go this way. Can I still can I target this? 
I'm so close, I can't target it. I think that's making the angle, the angles it's giving me a bit wonky. This should line me up quite nicely. I do have good separation, right? Kill that off. And let's see if I can get a... Alright. Still want to go this way a little bit. Close in. It's good enough. And turn SAS off because that'll interfere with the docking. Let's puff back a little bit. And it looks it's looking good. Actually, uh, let's go back here. There we go. Need to go up. Go here, staging, turn this off. Get a better angle. Put forward just a little bit. I need to go down. Down. I believe the docking clamps are activating. Are we going to get it? Uh, look at that. Look at that. Woo! I'm sweating. <laughs> ah, sweating. So, okay, after, uh, <laughs> after a uh, kind of a, I call it a mediocre attempt, we are now docked with the station. 
and as you can see, I don't think that panel can open because there's a docking, there's a thing in the way. But anyway, we are now docked. Woo. <laughs> It took, uh, took longer than I thought it would. I thought I had it down pat, but I guess you never know. I blame a lot of it on, I'm kind of making a cross sign, like where the orbits crossed. The more you can have them lined up, the less uh, course corrections you'll need to make to get this going the same direction. And then, uh, you know, just kind of maneuvering this with a big tin on the end to the uh, front of the station was a bit challenging. All right, so let's do our business now that we are here. Where is, so we're going to transfer some crew members. Let's not deploy the chute. So we're going to EVA this guy. Where are you? There you are. So let go. Turn on the rocket suit. Go back and go up. Go over here. Go over here. Go forward down not that far down go over here go forward go up go down all right so now we're glad grabbed on the ladder and now we're inside the uh, module that we just delivered and let's get the other guy If I can find him. Hello. There you are. There's the hatch. So this is the other guy that came up. So they're both going to be staying at the station. So let go. Turn on the rockets. Go back. Go back. Go left. Go up. Up. Go forward. Go right. Right. Left. Down. Down. Up. Up. Back. That'll cause a reorient. That's fine. And go forward, go up. I should be able to grab on. There we go. He's on the ladder. And board. Okay, so now we have our two Kerbinauts here. So let's see who wants to go home. Uh, who's uh, who's where? I can, can't remember. Anybody in here? This person wants to go home. Let go, back it up, rock it on, back it up, back it up, get out of the solar panel, go up, over, forward, that's not forward, that's up, forward, down, forward, right, not up, down, down. I should go. You can see how it's overexposed because of all the lights we have on. So he goes in there. And then, is anybody in here? It's kind of annoying you have to click on the hatch. Empty. And this one is scheduled to depart. I think I have three guys in here. Where are your, where's your hatch? Yes, yeah, so these guys are going back. So how many people are in here? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we got three in here, two in here, and two in there. That's not five. One, two, three, four, five. Am I missing something? One, two, three. Hmm. So we got, all right, let me just count how many people we got in here. We only got one. This is the wrong ship. Sorry. No, that's the right ship. We have one in here. So we put two in here, one in here, and then how many guys are in here? Two? Three. Do we have six? Can I not count? So one. One. All right. 
So you got one, two, three, counting Jebediah. I only count five. But anyway, what the hell? We'll find a uh, we'll find anybody later. Maybe that's that one guy on the lawn on the on the landing pad. I don't know. So I think Jebediah has been on too much nitrous oxide. So we got one guy in here. That's fine. And we got two guys in here. We got one guy in here. So there is six. All right. So this guy. If I can left click EVA. Oh, he's already. He already has like escape velocity on. Where am I going? No, up. Uh... All right. That's odd. It only looked like there were uh, five people there. So we're going to put this guy in, and then we're going to go. Oh. Up. We wish to go up. All right, and there we go. That's a nice picture. <laughs> All right. Now, Cape Crusaders, we got two guys on here, right? Two guys, right. So, decouple. There we go. And docking mode. Docking mode. And let's RCS on. Puff it back. And look at that. We've exposed the new docking port right here. So we can then go through the same procedure, assuming these lights aren't in the way. I don't think so. And if I crush them, I don't care. Um, in theory, they're not do the same procedure and put another docking module or another habitation module on here and then extend this line out as far as you want without having all these engines and other doodads around. I should have transferred some fuel up here, but the station's pretty much full. The only tanks that aren't full are on this thing, which is also going to be returning. So anyway, this mission to put a docking module here has been successful. And then here is the undock, the uh, delivery vehicle backing away. As you can see, we had a uh, decent amount of fuel left. You know, nothing to sneeze about. Uh, I put, probably put way too many batteries on here, it looks like. <laughs> I don't think I need that many. And then this is available for another docking module, or uh, habitation module. I think I said that. All right, so let's go and, not that, let's go to staging. And let's kill our velocity. And say bye to the station. So it's the, it's actually at the same going at the same speed. We're slowing down. And now I can lock on to it since it's far enough away. So bye station. So I did a brought the uh, habitation module up did a crew transfer and uh, undocked successfully. So, so far this mission's a success. Let's take a look at our orbit. So as you can see, it's now shrinking. It'll intersect the planet. So we no longer have orbital velocity. And there's the station pulling away from us. Okay. 
And again, as always, I'll be landing on the night side. So. Because correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose the sun. Yep, there it goes. And I don't have any lights because all the lights were on. All the lights were on the uh, the other one. So we can do some braking. So supposedly version 1.9 has uh, better re-entry effects. So let's put them to the test. So I'll just be entering the atmosphere now. Actually, I can detach this. Uh, there's a decoupler here somewhere. Oh no, I already decoupled that, never mind. Stupid me. Uh, I can decouple this when I get further down. So I'm just kind of doing some braking. We're now definitely in the uh, atmosphere of the planet. The solar panels, if I don't fold them up, will disintegrate shortly. So, below 30,000 meters. There you go. There's some re-entry effects for you. Kind of neat. There go the solar panels. They can't handle that. All right. And at this time, I'm going to reorient the ship. Actually, I guess I'm not going to reorient the ship. I'm just going to decouple it. So there goes the rest of the stuff. Bye bye. And let's deploy a parachute. Let's deploy our parachutes. So there's three on here. Can never have too many parachutes. There you go. Just like Apollo, huh? Uh, so I do have the SAS computer on for whatever reason. Uh, it's on here. I don't think it really matters. With three parachutes, it's not going to be that heavy. And let us do some time warpage. So I have no idea where I'm coming down. Let's see. Oh, apparently I'm down. No, I'm not down. I don't know why I got that sound effect. All right. So five, 500 meters. Looks like I'll be landing in the water. And again, sorry it's dark. It would be more interesting if it was light. So let's speed things up a wee bit. Assuming it's a water landing, I'll take it, try and speed things up a bit. Hundred meters, fifty meters, twenty meters, and splash. There we go into the sea water. So we are down safely, and let's wait for the sun to roll around. See where the heck we are. No, no sun. speed things up from here. And there we are. Okay, so yeah, we are in the water, and all in all, this was a successful if less than, see the Kerbals are happy, they lived, less than uh, perfect, but still successful mission, so we're going to end the flight. Uh, go back to the tracking station. 
go to the station core. You can see all the clever names I come up with things. Half of the, most of them are untitled. This is called Station Core. And then you can see that we now have this habitation module here. And then this, uh, these lights are basically to illuminate the docking port, help illuminate the docking port for the uh, next customer. And then, uh, which in theory will uh, you know, dock onto here. And then I can turn these lights off because they're no longer needed. Not that that matters. So I can turn that light off. That doesn't need necessary. So everything doesn't look so overexposed. So anyway, this has been Hale doing a station docking in the Kerbal Space Program. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too long or too boring. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll continue our further adventures uh, next time. Thanks again.